All right, bro. We finally we here. Here. What's we going here. on, My bro? God. <laughs> we came a long way from John Jay Acting Secondary bad. School for Law. But we can't really shout them out. I don't really. Uh, nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Humble beginnings. Right. Different times. Different times, man. Okay, like you and Bash and Dave and my guys, still yeah. my brothers. My but what's guys. up, man? We we here now. You doing big things? You got your your cleaning company yeah. off the ground. I'm Terrell's proud of cleaning you. Cleaning service. Shout outs to Ross Cleaning Service. Yo, I, it's so funny. I remember in the gym, right? When I was teaching <laughs> phys ed at the time. Tell me about it. <laughs> I remember the girls used to be like, Terrell got OCD. Uh-huh. <laughs> Terrell don't like nothing dirty around him. And it was just a joke. Right. But you turned that into a business. How'd that happen? Right. That wasn't even on purpose. That was just like, like I said, like, I always try to be like a working man. But like, right. the, like the nine to five thing wasn't just like, it wasn't for me. So like, I always been around the, like the, the house, the crib cleaning and wiping stuff down. I was like, yo, what you doing? Like, ain't nothing on the floor. It's spotless. <laughs> I've always been that way. That's, like, a, that's, a, that's a mother's dream come true. Nah, yeah. I've always been that way. Like, I don't know if I follow at the hub. So I don't know. But I've always been that way since young. So i always been cleansing. So one day I was like, let me just post a flyer on um, Instagram. No, I'm lying. I posted it on Facebook. Uh-huh. I posted it on Facebook. So from there, I just see, like, I probably got, like, 50 to, like, 70 shares. I'm like, oh, people are actually supporting this. Let me... Let me see it. And from there, it's like, it's history now. Wow, wow. And I think you got, I think you had uh, some some clients, some, like, corporate jobs mm-hmm. and a DOE, I think, right? Yeah, I had, yeah. The, I had a couple DOE jobs. I had some big company jobs. It surprised me, too. Like, I, I tell people that all the time, like, people watching you. So if you're going, if you're going to start a business, take it serious because you never know how far you can end up for real. But, like, how do you go from, because a lot of people say, I'm right. tired of nine to five, and I want to do something. Right. But a lot of people never really do anything. Like, right. what, what, what provoked you to finally say, "I don't want a nine to five and to actually have the confidence and the courage to do something like that? I mean, I always just like been a confidence person. Like, you know me. Like, first day we met, we felt like we knew each other. Like, you was my gym teacher. Like, yeah. I always just been confident in anything I do, from basketball, from girls, from. Or yeah. anything I ever like liked or I wanted something. So like mm-hmm. I was just so confident, like I was like, I know I could do this, like I know I could do it. Like I never had no doubt in my mind that I couldn't do it. Like it's just like yo, I'ma start this. And then like I said, like when you see the love that people actually showing you and the love that you get and the people supporting you and you're like, oh nah, like I could really like I could start something. I could start something different that nobody else is like my age is, or nobody around me that's doing, you know. Out here in New York, it's like a lot of rappers and stuff like that. I'm like, right. nah, like, let me do something different so I could stand out or stick out. So, and it's actually business, so it's more like I like I like to be like I like my mind to be flowing. So, like, I know it's more difficult for me. So, I like just getting out of difficult situations and see what I, how far I could go. Bro, I love it, man. I love it, and uh, you know, I, I definitely know that that'll inspire uh, other people to realize like you don't have to go down the same trail and the right. same paths that everybody else right. is trying to do to make it right you know like you you had something that it seemed like was just a thing like right. i don't like things being messy around me but mm-hmm. you turned around and realized wait wait a minute this 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 is a gift like god god gave me a gift god bless me <laughs> A c- cleanliness for real and that's how i really started for real like one day i just i was just literally around the house i'm like yo like let me just put a fly up like i ain't have no name enough you know my name everybody call me doogie like that's my yeah yeah that's my name but my real name is terrell so i'm like i can't name it doogie cleaning service like that's a little like that ain't professional yeah let me just put a fly out terrell's cleaning service <laughs> put a nice little flyer out from there it's really just history like and that's when i started 2020 got my llc from there we just we just moving man that's um, i'm proud of you i'm proud of you for stepping out and actually taking the risk and i know what it is to start from scratch mm-hmm. 
with anything, you know, started a few businesses from scratch, started right. the church from scratch. Yeah. You've been telling me to come to church for years. Too. <laughs> you finally come. Always reaching out. Yeah, always reaching out. <laughs> One thing about he, he gonna he gonna reach out and support. So always, always did that. And always. We talking about this is like, this is like a decade plus. I, I, I Man, know. Man, that's crazy. crazy. I you can't know, believe it's that long already. You know, since I was a, I was what, 13, 14. <laughs> 14. 14 years old. Yeah, because you was a freshman. Yeah, I'm and, a freshman um, now. I'm you was a freshman when, yeah, I, when I was there. I'm 27 now, so I'll be like, what? Yeah, it's crazy. Dang, it's crazy. I'm getting old. <laughs> you think, oh, I'm getting younger. You think, oh, I'm getting younger. For sure. Yo. <laughs> wow. But here it is, man. Like, you a grown man now, mm -hmm. man. And, you know, I, I'm, you know, we were, we were talking the other day about yeah, well, yeah, yep. just like how well, the struggles that come along with building and being an entrepreneur. You right. know, being an entrepreneur is like a sexy word today. In social media, <laughs> like everybody want to quote, right? I'm an entrepreneur, right? Right. But anybody that's really doing the work of mm -hmm. entrepreneurship, right? Know that this ain't, this ain't no is. walking apart, right? Right. And so, you know, what challenges or how has being an entrepreneur, I would say, has challenged you or has grown you and stretched you? It's just being an entrepreneur is so tough. But like I'm a type of person like I like the competitive nature like it's just something about mm. like getting out of difficult times that does something for me like I embrace it like even now like I'm having little mental health issues and stuff that I think about like I'm a deep thinker so like from providing to having a girlfriend from family to anything I just go through like it's just I just embrace it at the time because I know I'm going to get out of it so like I could tell anybody that being an entrepreneur like just to just like be yourself, man. Like just do what you love and just know that everything don't last forever. Like mm. whatever you going through, hard times, good times, you just gotta know how to treat them times that you're going through. Yeah. Like the only time you will see people actually embracing themselves is when they going through good times. You That's have to true. embrace yourself when you're going through bad times as well. I tell That's people true, just because everything is good don't mean it's gonna be good forever. So now when it's bad, you're going to be against everybody. You're going to have a bad right, attitude. You're going right. to change up how you think. Yep. You can't be that way. So, And like I said, put God first too. Like, yeah. Like I'm, I'm on my spiritual journey right now. Like I believe in God. Like I, I've always been a prayer, but like I'm just getting more close to him because it's like when it's all like just, you never, nobody ever have they self. Like you, you need somebody. And, yeah. And if you don't have nobody, you got God. So. Just I just tell people just keep just keep doing you man just believe just have faith that's that's the most important thing faith and discipline I'm learning that I'm like I, it's my fourth year in business wow I think I don't want to mistake myself so I think September to make me, my fourth my four years anniversary but, I bro. Got my LLC so it's like it's hard but like I said like if you got that mindset and then you if you made it through difficult times. You good. Like, I'm, I'm here for a reason. I done had seizures. Wow. I done had, got shot at. I done... Everything done happened to me, and I'm still here for a reason. Like... Bro. So, it's like, I'm going to make it through this. So, I, I don't really be stressing too much that's going on business-wise. Because I know once I take care of myself personally... Yeah. That's going to that's gonna play out itself. Bro, that's so good, man. And like, like I... People don't know but most businesses fail within the first three years right so for you to have survived in business as well as in life bro it's like you said it's god it's god <laughs> the, the, grace god god. the grace of god the grace of god it's on your life for a reason for real yeah for real yeah i tell people that you gotta just believe just believe in god everything else gonna work on yourself everything else gonna fall into place but but that's the thing right most men Real, don't realize like they feel like when things when things are going right I right. can acknowledge God right and then when things are going bad I'm gonna run away from right. God and it's it's, it's whether it's a contradiction right? right like God isn't disappointed in you mm -hmm. because you're disappointed in yourself exactly or God isn't happy with you because you're happy, happy with, with yourself. yourself right no he's consistent like exactly. he's constant he doesn't change his mind about you. I'm learning that. You've been telling me that a lot. Yo, and that's the part. That it don't matter. Good times, bad times. In the mountaintops or in the valley. Like, God is wants to walk with us and right. walk with you through 
the things you're going through, the challenges you're going through. Right. And we have to stay close to him because he's the only one, like you said, you really can trust and turn to. Right. You you know you know how many people have you probably seen turned on you or switched up on you? It's too much. Too much people. <laughs> too much people like and I feel like God like humbles you as well and puts you in predicament so you can see the people that you're around. So it's mm. like like twenty twenty four like I don't like naming the year because I be feeling like so much things that woke me, like woke me up over time. Yeah. But I just feel like God just stripped me of everything this year, like and just left me with nothing, just to show me like this person is not for you. This person is not for you. When you was doing this, it was working this way. But when you stopped doing this, everything changed around you. Right. So let me just show you. Let me get you back to ground zero, mm -hmm. and then we gonna work our way back up and see a different path. Mm -hmm. like, like, you, like, like you said, because sometimes you can just see a path straight forward, but that's not what God wants for you. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's not, and you might see it that way, but that path might lead you to something that you don't ever want for yourself. So God might be sparing you. So, like, when I tell people when they go through things, I'm like, oh my God, I don't got nothing. I don't got, it's not about what you have. Mm. Just embrace what you, what God has given you already, because there's more to come. So, yeah. That's how I just look at things. I don't try to stress myself. Even though everybody has these bad days, I'm like, yo, damn. Like, yeah. F everybody. That's how I be feeling. Yeah. Right. But it's like, for what? Cause when everything was good, when God was blessing me with, uh -huh. and he's still blessing me. I say he's not blessing me now. I'm yeah. alive. So when God was blessing me with all this stuff, now I got, I, I owe people or business is not booming how it was or certain things happening in my life. I'm losing people. It's like, why talk? Like, why not still keep praising God? Cause he's gonna all them blessings are gonna come back. That's it. One way or another. So I just try to stay. Focused on God as much as possible. Y'all yeah. know everything gonna work out. Work out this place. Well, so that mindset right there is 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 huge. It's huge. Like most people give up and quit. Right. When they don't see things going their way. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I've learned over the years. Being so loser. Stop being so loser. Ah, <laughs> that's right. God don't like so losers. Yeah. You gonna stick with me or you not? That's it. Being that soldier. Got to. I just be trying to, I just be trying to just stick it out, man. I don't, I don't know how. Like I said, I know how I do with God, but like, like I said, you gotta have that strong mindset. If you're not ready to be broke, in debt, start from zero dollars, people leaving you, people doubting you, people not talk like whatever you don't go through, you. criticize doing, you, doing never doing what anything close to what you're doing. Exactly, but got people, something to say. People gonna talk. So if you worry about that, the business world, entrepreneurship is not for you. Just leave it alone. That's <laughs> facts. <laughs> I'm going through all that right now at uh -huh. once. That's my life today. What's today's date? Well, today's the August something. Yeah, it's August something. 19th, I think it's I think 20th, 20th, 20th. Yeah, 20th. whatever date it is. Yeah. I'm going through that to this day and I'm still sticking strong. So we're going to be all right. That's it. So I heard you, I heard you seeing somebody mm -hmm. special. Right. I, I sound... Right. You know, you know, I, you know, I do the the the, the relationship coaching now. Right. So You want to get spicy? Get some <laughs> <laughs> so how's that looking? Um, um, honestly, she 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 helps me like grow as a man. Um, she sees a different side of me that nobody sees. Mm-hmm. And she embraces that side of me. So, like, from day one, she always told me, like, you think you're so tough? You think you're so tough? I'm like, nah. Like, that's just how, like, I was just raised. So, she just, I just got that soft side for her that, like, we was talking over here. Like, I got, I got, I got that weakness for her. Yeah, and it, yeah. I'm scared. Uh-huh. It's all right to be that's scared, y'all. Like, <laughs> especially you, the guys. You we, know what? We're but trying to front like we're not scared or lose or something. It's okay because when she leaves. Then you're gonna be crying. You're gonna be crying. <laughs> so you better cry scared now before cause then you get all the your emotion out. But it's okay, man. Like I'm learning that now. I hate that for me right now. Like I just like I'm scared. I love, to I lose love that it. for you. And he loves it for me. He's telling me to embrace it. Now I'm embracing it as well, but yeah. I just never been with somebody like her. So I'm scared to lose her in a way like like damn, like I really could lose this girl if I don't like 
if I don't get my if I don't get my stuff together. So like, but that's when you know it's real. Yeah. When you when you feel that vulnerability mm -hmm. and that fear of losing a person, that's when you really know you care about them. Right. You don't you don't care about you're not scared of losing somebody you don't care about. Right. So that's when you know, like, whoa, this is real. You know, what I'm feeling in my heart for this person is real. Mm -hmm. And then it's all a matter of, like, now I want to protect that. Mm -hmm. I want to guard that. I want to cherish that. Right. Because it's rare. Because you don't feel that with everybody. And you said you said, you said you got married. You got married early. I got married. I was 25 bro, when I got married. 25 years old. So how old are you now? 27. He been a lover yeah, so boy. You but, yeah. Look. <laughs> he been loving up. Bro. I knew it's I, not wrong with it though. I, I always knew I wanted to get married young. Yeah, Yo, I need to tell like, you. I always saw myself mm -hmm. marry him. Like literally, I wrote out, I remember when I was in high school around my senior year. Right. We did an exercise where um it's potholes. <laughs> <laughs> we did an exercise at our school. My my English teacher, he made us write out a 10-year or 15 year plan for our lives. Right. And remember I was telling you about the power of writing? Mm -hmm. journal, I kid yeah. you not, everything I wrote down that I said I wanted to accomplish, no, we did a 20 year plan. Right. Everything, so I was, what, 17, 18, coming out of high school? Mm hmm. Yeah, you 18 coming out of high school. So yeah. by the age of 36, fifth, about 14 years, 15 years after that, Everything I wrote down, bro, that I said I wanted to do, I did it. Mm. And I, it wasn't even like I was keeping the paper with me and looking over it over and over again. Right. I just had a vision for what I wanted to see. And I saw myself when I was writing that out. I was like, right. I would be married by 25. Right. That was what I wrote. I got uh, married when I was 25. 25. Manifested that. I said I was going to have kids by the time I was 30. I had kids. I had my, my daughter by the time I was 30. Everything that I said, Sheesh. and that's and that's where, when you don't have a vision, mm -hmm. you perish. Right. You don't have a vision for your life. You don't have a direction for your life. Right. Yeah. So that's what happened, man. Like I, I didn't know I was. I didn't know how I was gonna meet my wife. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how I was gonna how it was gonna happen. I just knew I, I was gonna get married at, by at a time. Yeah, and I, I feel the same way because, like I said, like. I used to just think like, yo, having a bunch of girls is it? Yeah. Nah. We, need, uh, we yeah. just need that one that's cause like, you give me an energy out like, when when the, like the older like when the unks are, the, are like on my block and like the other people like I'm seeing them different girls. I'm like, oh, I right, this how this this the way to live. That's what, yeah, this bro. the way to live. So I'm not I'm I'm cause you 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 are, like good as your environment so that's the environment i was growing up around like i never seen nobody in my family get married i, I probably went to a wedding when i was seven years old right right but that was rare i probably been to one wedding my whole nobody in my family's married probably one person in my family's married mm, so like that's I, I never i didn't grow up i never grew up on that See? so and i was just too. looking different so now when i'm now I'm, I'm at the age i am now i got a girlfriend and then you see the way that she like she just wants you to do good, no envy. She make she wants your mind to be right. You moving oh, like a wife. Moving like a wife, and I, we only been together for like what year and a half, almost two years. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, she showed me a lot. So yeah, she definitely my weakness right now, <laughs> for surely. Yeah. Especially everything I'm going through. Without her right now, I'd probably be down here screaming. <laughs> but no, but that's the power. That's the power of having a a, a good yeah. woman by your side right she's gonna bring that calm right inside of your heart yep she's gonna help you get level Soft headed. spot for yeah you're gonna see you could be focused and not like you said the distractions that come with chasing different women like one of the greatest choices i made was getting married young because yeah. everything that i was able to accomplish no. from then to now i would have been i probably my, my my destiny would have been delayed for sure because i would have been for sure. You know my my biggest fear. Another reason why I wanted to get married young. My biggest fear mm -hmm. was getting with a crazy chick. Tell me about it. I always was scared of that. I didn't. Cause you want yeah, <laughs> some like, stalker girlfriend, mm -hmm. like some psychotic girl. I never wanted to. 
that's how it experience be. that because it's different energies you think you're just gonna be you and they're not gonna react bro <laughs> that's how i thought it's not sweet out here you no know, man i look for that crazy eye yeah if i look in your eyes and i see a little crazy i was out i'm gone <laughs> i'm gone see now i'm not with, for none of that like i'm too like probably back then i used to get a little happy or excited oh she cared this one she going nah that's not fun man that's that's corny. I just need, like I said, I got my one. Yeah. And, and we just going, we just going to build an empire. Like we both grounded right now. She got her own business. She worked too. She, so she be motivating me. She don't be know. She talking about. I be motivating her. I be like, yo, you, you go to work and you still trying to start a business. That's what's up, man. Like I'm just, just focused on my business and my mental health right now. So, but yeah, she definitely motivated me and she showed me like, yo, it's okay to go do what you're going through. Like you don't gotta be so tough. And I be seeing out, you know, a lot of a lot of people out here trying to act like, uh, like just tough and like it's all right, to, it's all right to go through what you're going through. Everybody got to struggle. Everybody, everybody came from somewhere. You don't gotta, you don't gotta put on the facade for yeah. nobody. If you going through what you go through, let it be known. If you need help, let it be known. If you're struggling right now, let it be known. Let if you got the mental health issues, let it be known. Cause bottom of all that up, really gonna hurt you in the in the long run for real Yo, and i'd rather right. go through it now at this age cause i'm still young i'm still i'm super young yeah i'd rather go through at this age than when i get to my 30s and my 40s and i'm going through mental i, I want to get all that figured out that's now it and, and just figure it out there's a lot of grown men out here still s stuck because right. they like you said they've never had that outlet or they, they've never found that outlet that place mm -hmm. to be vulnerable or to share their hearts and they just suffer in silence. Right. And I was doing that for a long time. Cause I thought, I'm thinking so tough. Like, yo, like, you don't gotta be tough, man. Like, I'm just thinking like, I got Bro. this. I don't need nobody. You need somebody. Bro, every man somebody. out here, like even those that's watching, like there's no, you're not less of a man because you're struggling with your mental health right. or you're struggling emotionally or you feel lost or confused. Oh, you broke. Money is not everything, oh, man. Come on. Stop watching the money. Come on. Money don't make you a man. Come on. Remember that. Come on. Don't. And, like, and it's females that will try to make you feel right. that way too. And those, yeah, those not those are the people you don't want to be around. If everything is money, money, money. That's not real. Yep. Money, money shouldn't shouldn't make you move a certain way or feel a different way yeah i'm the same way when i got zero dollars i'm the same way if i get a million dollars come on it's the man. same way that's and I'm it i'm just on my way up man i'm never going feel the way because i got zero dollars or I'm, I'm still me that's it i'm still me i help people i get people jobs i work with people i i talk to people I, I'm, I'm me i can never move a certain way because i got more money or somebody got more nah i don't do that money's not about nothing can we can't go with it so i don't know why people get your mind right then the money will come that's right you can't that's make right. money with a with a messed up mind that's good right there build your identity on on something else right greater the than opportunities that. gonna come yeah opportunities is greater than money opportunities that make you more money than you just focusing on the money focus on the opportunities first Gross. i'm learning all that because I, I was because i before cause, you know when i grew up i just i want money <laughs> I didn't care about yeah. nothing else. Any way I could make a dollar, that's what I was doing. Bro. Like I made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of stuff, but when you're chasing the money, that's when bad and yeah. dark times happen. Yeah. Stuff that you don't want to get yourself into happens. And I don't portray myself to be no street guy. I never, but I always stood on what I stand on. I'm a man, so it's like, if I needed the money, I was going to figure out a way to make the money. But don't focus on the money, y'all. Start a business, go get a job. I don't know why everybody thinking they too good for jobs now. <laughs> that's another know. thing. That's a, like go get a job. You people be people be in the house zero dollars and get a job opportunity and be like, oh no, I'm not working. That's not for me. People gonna look, bro. You rather be broke because you care about what somebody's saying about because you working crazy. at crazy. You yeah. working doing security or something? Y'all crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. Y'all never understood it, but go get a job, man. If you. It's all right. Working, there's nothing wrong with working. Bro, that's another thing. You know how many people, like, learned? So you, you, go, you get a job to, to earn and you get a job to learn. Right. Because a lot of people who can't, who can't, who try to launch businesses but never really had a job. How that's going to work? The owner got to work too? You got to <laughs> understand what it means. To work, to show up on time, to be punctual, right. to, be, to be accountable. 
because you you can't expect people to show up for you if you haven't even learned how to show up for somebody else. Exactly. Same way with the, the love stuff we were talking about. You can't love somebody if you don't ever love yourself first. Like, yeah. How can that happen? That's it. How can that happen? It's the same way in the work world. Not and let me tell y'all this too. I done lost so many contracts, mm. jobs, opportunities. Like to be honest, if, if every if I would have been more focused on working. Cause I feel like this is how my mom was working when I first started. I feel like I'm the owner. Nobody could tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. I'ma send people out to work, clean, moving jobs, dumpster jobs, and I'm just gonna sit home and chill or do what I do and move around. All right. Make sure you there at them jobs. <laughs> Make sure you there. Oh man. Who they gonna like? You're the owner. What that mean? You still have to work. You still have to put in work. You still have to talk. You still have to show people the way to work and how you want the job done and how to talk to the clients and the. The companies that you're dealing with you have to do all this you have to work on all this just because you're the owner don't mean you just can sit home and work i think bill gates and these people just sit home and just no they're outside being active working so if you gotta if, if you're doing nails if you're doing hair and if you if you're doing anything make sure you're there yeah. it's your business this yep. is your work you just nobody's, have employees nobody's gonna care about nobody's gonna care about you because it's not their you. business it's yours mm -hmm. you have to be in the field with them i don't care if you have a hundred employees. Make sure you go check on your employees, and because when it's up, it's up. But when it's down, you're gonna be upset. So just, just try to be as consistent as you can, and that's what I wish I took more in consideration. Like, yo, go, just go. No matter if you don't have to be there or not, go. Yeah. Make sure your workers see you. Seeing you, like, you know, how we just see, like, we we like we talk basketball a lot. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we would have seen LeBron or somebody. Years ago, you know how much that inspired us to to, <laughs> to be more in that field. Like, oh, now we see LeBron. He was there today. He wasn't playing basketball, but he was on the court just teaching us stuff and supporting us. That's what you got to do with your workers as well. Well, your employees. I don't like to call them workers. Your yeah. supporters. Yeah. You have to do that. You have to be in the field with them, or the business not going. It's not going to boom how you think it is. Mm. That's facts, man. Bro, I love. I love. You got it, bro. The mindset, the mindset is is critical to success. Right. You know, but like you said, whether it's relationships, business, mm -hmm. you know, personal life, mm -hmm. just getting your mind right, being able to show up every day, right? Gotta show up every day. Show up every day. I don't care if you're the owner or not. Show up. You just can't send people out to work for you. They don't know what they're working for. You gotta be there. These dudes about to crash over here. Day they, by, mine ain't right. <laughs> day by day, <laughs> man, for real. So what's your uh, your goals for this next third, fourth quarter? Third, fourth quarter yeah, of the, fourth of the quarter year? Now, right? yeah. we, we in September. <laughs> my mental. Yeah. See, my mind right. I can't, like, I'm holding everything open until my mind is right. I'm, like, I'm still on my business. I still have my contracts, my bookings, and stuff like that. But my mind really not focused there right now because my mental is not. My I ain't, my mental health is, like, going, like, probably a one. I'm having a good day today, but <laughs> I be having a lot of bad days. So I just be trying to get my mind right first. So See, and that's just my goal. And it's, the and it's okay to not be okay. Mm -hmm. But it's not okay to to to, to stay in a not an okay state. Yeah, you gotta work on it. You gotta work, you gotta reach out, mm -hmm. you gotta make sure you find, get around the people that's gonna stimulate. Yep. It's okay to ask for help, y'all. You gotta it's ask, okay for, to help. ask for help. People, just cause you a man, and, and this for the men. Yeah. Cause before I was like, yo, I'm not a man, cause I'm asking people for help, asking people for money. If you need help, ask, man. And and if they not helping you, that's not, they don't, they don't care for you. Yeah. You gotta find a new circle. Yeah. Cause if I, I just know me, and, and don't expect everything. Just because you will do something for somebody, don't mean somebody will do that for you. Expectations is that hurt you, for real. So, but I can say this: if somebody truly, genuinely care about you, in any way, in every way or form, they will help you. If it's financially, mentally, spiritually, yeah, any way, they will help you. So, if you don't got no friends that helps you when you're going through financial troubles or mental troubles or you trying to you're trying to find a spiritual place for yourself those are not the people you need to be around and i lost so much people this year friends family it's all right it's, that's all right it's a journey yep you gotta keep working yep sometimes keep figuring it out 
is a is, is pruning season. Mm-hmm. You know what that means? Detoxing. Pruning, detoxing. Yep. In a in a garden, in order for a gardener to make more room for more fruit to grow, right? He has to cut the excess weeds and mm-hmm. the and the and the leaves that's in the way that's preventing preventing growth. Right. You need space to grow. You need room to grow. Right. So every so often, God starts pruning your life and starts cutting off the the unnecessary. Whether it, whether it's unnecessary relationships, unnecessary people, mm-hmm. and sometimes, sometimes you think some people are necessary, right? But God knows best, right? You know. And so, this is pruning season, bro. Like, one of the things I pray, I'm like Lord, remove anyone that's in my life that's in the way of right. my growth. Mm. And it's hard because you start seeing people like. I liked him, you know, like it hurt. <laughs> that hurt. It hurt. I ain't gonna lie, it hurt. Yeah. It hurt, but you, like I said, you just gotta sit in that as a man, you just gotta like sometimes you gotta sit in that loneliness, you gotta sit in that in that house and just be like, yo, I just gotta I got God. Yeah. For real. But as long as you got him, that's it. And that's it. And like I said, everybody's spiritual journey is different. So it's like just cause like I just like just cause I, I pray every day and not go about certain things a certain way. Don't mean you have to go about a certain way. So the way you pray to God might be a different way I pray to God. Mm-hmm. But just believe he's there. Yep. Just have faith. I can tell everybody that because I might not be in church every week. I might not do stuff that a normal spiritual person would do. Mm-hmm. But like I said, I know God is real. I have faith. He done. He got me so far. He done gave me so much grace. Yeah. I could have been locked up. I could have been. Yeah. Dead. I could have been. I'm here. That's it. He has a plan for me. I've been through so much through my 27 years of living. So it's like, it's God. Yeah. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep saying that to y'all because it's a lot. It's dark outside right now, y'all. For real. Like go. Like pray. It's dark outside. Right. I mean dark. Cause a lot of demons outside. It's nasty outside right now. So if you don't got God on your side, I don't know. Like. You gotta pray till you gotta pray, man. Keep that, keep that belief in God, and just yeah, just keep going, figuring it out, yeah. figure it out. There ain't no timetable to this, no meter. Just figure it out. Yeah. But in due time, stay consistent, have faith. You'll be alright, bro. So I always say, anybody could make it through anything in life with a consciousness of God's love for them mm-hmm. and a dream. If you know how much God loves you And he loves you He loves every one of us You just gotta believe it for yourself Exactly and I can't Yeah we Somebody can't believe it for you Yeah That ain't gonna work <laughs> You can have support But mm-hmm. you gotta believe it And you gotta believe it within yourself Yeah for Sure Accept it And then put your faith in that Go through and, trials and tribulations Right Man And then you gotta dream God's gonna show you What he's calling he's show you to you, do Right Everybody got their own calling Yeah and I never thought I'd be talking like this. But yeah. <laughs> it's real. See, but you started following the dream the he put dream, in your heart. Yeah. Like when you said, and I told you this, I was like, for you to just say one day, you at work and you're like, nah, this is going to be my last day. It's over. I quit. I ain't even say that. I, I can't even say what I said to the manager, y'all. <laughs> it ain't godly. <laughs> it ain't godly. I can't say what I said to him, but yeah. That's where you was at, at that point. I was at that point, yeah. And, Steve, and, and it's crazy because we was talking about it because you see you see the rant I went on. We mm-hmm. was talking about that. The other day. I still I'm still I ain't no saint, but I'm I'm working towards being a God fair man. Like yeah, he working on you. He's working on me. He's working mm-hmm. with me right now. But <laughs> I still have my bad days, and you gonna have your bad days. It's okay. It's okay. But just just know that God got you for real, for real. I'm gonna keep repeating that, and I'm gonna keep saying that God is good. So. Thank, thank God for the good, thank God for the bad, and just keep working. Like, you just can't pray to God when everything going good. Like, life don't work that way, man. You got to thank him for the good and bad. Yeah. So anything I go through, I thank God. I'm like, yo, thank you, God, I'm having a bad day, but thank you. Mm. Thank you, God, I'm having a good day. Thank you. Yeah, that gratitude. You have to. got to have that. And like I told you, a, good, a, a, a great tip mm-hmm. for anyone... It's working on their mental health and learning how to just control their thoughts 
is to get a journal, get a book, and write your thoughts out. Right. Talk to somebody, too. If you can't, if you don't like to write, go find somebody to talk to. And I know a lot of guys don't like to talk. So yeah. that's the first yeah, place I, to I start. Hate to talk. I hate talking that's to people. Right. So I, I know. Just telling people how I feel sometimes, every day. Cause everybody go through that because I, I feel like everybody go through their own, they own trouble. And you can't share everything you can't with everybody. You can't share everything with everybody. So get a book, get that's a little journal, write, you write got that notes stuff. on your phone. Write it down. Yep. Write it down. Rather than is you writing it in your phone, get, you get a book. Saying it out loud. So, yeah. I do that all the time. People be thinking I'm I'm tripping, I'm bugging. I'm like, nah, I just gotta let like this off. I, I ain't gonna lie. One time I was feeling so crazy in the crib, I just had to scream and let it out. Like, see, I'm like, yo, like, and you feel I better, better after that. <laughs> it might be a little crazy, but I felt better. But it works. It's all right to get help, man. We not you're not less of a man because you somebody helping you. Everybody got help. Everybody has somebody. Multiple people. Oh look, look at Jones over there. Walking down the block. Wow. <laughs> you about to see us. Yeah. But yo man, I can't wait for I'm saying all that God has in store for you, bro. Like this this next year. Like as long as you keep keep the faith and mm -hmm. you keep just don't quit. Everybody yeah. everybody don't quit. You can't. Ooh. There's no room to quit. Nobody's made it and and been successful by quitting and giving yeah. up. Like, yeah, and that and that that uh, what's it called? Overnight overnight success story. Bro, it's never that. That's never. That's not even. Uh, get that out your mind. It ain't nobody ever overnight. had an overnight success story ever. Nobody. Have nobody. You gonna work for, for for what's yours. And so. if it happened overnight, there was a lot. There was a lot put of into that. Yeah, put into exactly. it. Exactly. So just keep <laughs> working. That's all I can say. Figure it out, man. That's my favorite line. Figure it out. <laughs> just figure it out with God, man. You got it for real. Once you figure it out with Him, figure it out with yourself, and the path that that you're supposed to be on, the right path. Yeah. You're gonna be good. Everybody gonna be alright. So listen, man, if, I, I, you know, if you are watching this and you like, yo, I need somebody to talk to, I don't got anybody that I could trust, you can reach out to us. Facts. Reach out to me. Reach, reach out, out to me. To Rel. Because we feed off of that, too. It's like, it's crazy, right? You be going through your own. And everybody go, and some people going through the same thing you going through. I be needing them conversations. But then you feel better. You feel better, yeah. Helping somebody else. Exactly. And that's what I'm here for. You need jobs, you need to work, anything. Let me know. I got I got the cleaning service. You could you could hit me up on Terrell's cleaning service. You can hit me up on my personal page, it's Doogie underscore. Everything Terrell's cleaning service, so that's the brand. So we start from there. So if you, anybody need no job any jobs, it don't have to be working for me. I know a lot of com other companies too that's hiring. So if, even if you're not working for me and my company, I know a lot of other companies that you could work for, get you a job. If you're struggling right now, it's okay to work. It's okay to work. I'll get you some money and start you a business. Or if working is not for you, but do something. Do something. Just can't sit. Yeah. <laughs> just can't sit up. Especially if you have if you if you have a mental health issue, you gotta be on the move. Like since since I've been having this mental health issues and I've been going through this mental health stuff, I, I gotta be more active and proactive. And you just can't just be sitting around just doing nothing. It, it won't help you. It make you go crazy. So yeah. you can hit me up on everything. Terrell's cleaning service, personal page, Doogie. Um, it's my guy. Yep. Thanks for my linking God. up, man. Always. Thank you. Keeping me young. Yeah, yeah we gotta go shopping. Yeah. Get some <laughs> I told you it was twelve's day. I think he wanted to be like. 12, me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That was, that's crazy. Oh, I probably wanted to be like him. I don't know. You got. One I got. I got the re, the reverse flus. The re, you reverse take flu shop. games yeah, on. on his wrist. I don't got that yet. <laughs> That's hard work. I don't got that. Keep yeah. working hard. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you, Sammy. Always. All right, bro. Love, always, man. Always. I'll see you soon.